chips on bigger of the waves are skimming there and summits to the verdant plains each horizon is a new beginning rise and rain first samuel chapter 12 verse 24 kjv only fear the lord and serve him in truth with all your heart for consider how great things he hath done for you hello fellow shavers be right here know me i'll back with another shaman video i am really excited to try this i have not tried this particular soap before i just got it today okay it's saturday i'm going home tomorrow i actually have to go into work this morning for a couple of hours but on the way home i stopped at a couple of markets so i can see what they had and <clears throat> they had this speak men active razier sheaf i cannot read that i apologize for butchering it but oh my goodness this stuff smells amazing it's got a uh let me see there's a powdery lemony scent to it and i absolutely love it i hope oh, i sure hope it performs well i tried to speak stick before and that was fantastic I haven't tried the cream. I bought some. It was it's the cream in the blue too, but I think there's a, a green one that, that was around as well. But the one I have is blue. Uh, I think it's a different than this, but man, it's fantastic. I also found uh, Speak Body Soap, so I just bought all that they had. <laughs> Pardon me. A little espresso to get the shape going. All right, what am I using besides the Speak? All right, gonna bust out the commissary. Oh. Apologies, I did say in my last shave video I was going to be using the Zingari Man, but I found this today and I just had to use it and do a live, not live shave, but a real, real, real time review. Uh, yeah, okay. What else am I using? All right, I only brought one brush and it's my Zenith Bore. You guys know how much I really, really love this brush and I really wish it was, I, I kind of want it to be a little bit thicker. Um, what else? Oh yeah, here's my sebum. This this is actually sebum green. I ran out of the sebum green soap, so now I'm just using my the green serum as the my daily daily um, sebum serum. All right, let me go ahead and move this so I don't drop it. Small bathroom. I'm kind of running out of space. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put this blue water on my face, and we'll be cracking. Yeah, that's awesome. It's so good. I think the price on this is fair. I have no idea how much it would cost if you got it in the U.S. or if you could find it in the U.S. <clears throat> but it was uh, about $10. So it was a uh, 9.95 euro. To make it easy, the exchange rate right now, close enough to one to one, close enough. All right, I need to make some hot water for my brush. Ooh, not hot enough yet. Hold on, it's coming. There we go. Nope, a little more. It can be hotter. Sorry, everybody, it can be hotter. Oh, I'm excited to use this. I can't remember if I mentioned it, but um, it's actually a uh, vegan soap, so there's no tallow in here. I, man, I don't know if you guys subscribe to Tim Shaves. Uh, I'm, I'm liking that guy, nice guy. But anyways, he just posted a video where he used the fat, Mitchell's wool fat. And he said in that video that now Mitchell wool, Mitchell's wool fat is going to a non tallow based soap, just like Tabak did. I'm just like, no, why? Uh, tree huggers are, never mind. All right, yeah, the stuff smells. Oh, I really like this scent, it's really clean and fresh. I swear it's a lemony scent. Maybe, now that I have it, like whipped up. I don't 
get that powdery note anymore. But yeah, it got dry. So I don't know if you guys can see that. The lighting in here is not very good. Apologize. There we go. Look at that. It's a little bit dry. It's really dry and pasty. So maybe it's a thirsty soap. We'll find out. I had it blooming for, oh, maybe 10 minutes while I jumped in the shower really quick. So, um, <clears throat> I'm so excited to go home. We, we finished our project. Um, we actually came out here to try to fix an issue. An issue that's been going on for, I don't know, maybe the better part of a year. I, I, I still don't quite understand the full history. Oh. really like that. Yeah, I don't fully understand the history. The, the machine that I'm working on, they relocated it a year ago. Um, but it seems like they've only been complaining about it since March of this year. It's, it's a really weird situation, but anyway, so I, I don't know how to explain. But uh, the machines that I work on, they, they detect defects. Now, it looks like the defects have shifted location, like, like they've, they've rotated, and that's not good because the other machine that they have to match to doesn't do that. So we're trying to figure out what's going on, and we might be on the right track now, but we'll see. You guys saw all that growth? Yeah, I haven't shaved since the last time. Okay, my last video. Pretty obvious I haven't shaved since the last time, right? <laughs> this is great. So far, no irritation. I tried my last trip to Europe which was like, I think 2018. I, um, I bought the um, Wilkinson sword in the blue UFO tube. Oh, I, I remember it giving me a bit of irritation. I almost bought it again. Cause it's so cheap, it's just like two bucks. But like, ah, that's not very smart. Buy something that works, you know, or you haven't tried before. Hence why I got this. I'm gonna, it's my last night here, right? So I'm gonna go downtown. I wanna take some more pictures of the architecture down in downtown Dresden. It's just absolutely beautiful. And while I'm down there, I'm gonna check out this other store. I'm still thinking about getting the vegan tobacco. If not for me, maybe I'll, I'll pass it along to someone. I don't know yet. Don't know what I'm gonna do. But yeah, this is taking on some water. Hey, all right, hold on. It's gonna be a minute. Gonna be a minute. I don't know if you guys can see my eye. Really red, right? Something in the air is it's really irritating my eyes. Don't know what it is. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. I think we might be there. Ooh, I got some goodies coming in the mail. I'm super, super stoked about. I've only told a couple of people. I'm super excited. Man, I can probably add some more water here. Jeez.
think I might do what Kevy Shades does. I'm just gonna paint a little bit of water in. I don't want a dry lather. It's no fun shaving with a dry lather, especially with a commissory. Oh, did I mention what I'm shaving with? I'm shaving with a commissory. I bought a uh, Gillette Wilkinson sword twist to open. Cool looking little razor. I've seen them in videos before, like a couple years ago. Uh, never had a chance to get one. I got one, it's just, it was, I think it's just 10 euro? Not, 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 not expensive at all. So I thought, what the heck? Never tried it. But uh, I didn't want to introduce a variable with this soap. Where's my, oh yeah. So here's a commissory. You can look back in my video history to find out when the last time I used this was. It's the same same blade. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, everybody, I hope you're all well, and I hope the weather is finally good where you are. I know some people, I know that it's still cold where they are. Yeah. Definitely worth the 10 bucks. Definitely worth 10 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll see how um, like the uh, post shave feels. Uh, ah, come on here. I can't believe Father's Day is already just about upon us. My wife will give me a razor. Every time I've ever since I got into my YouTube videos, um, I've been wanting an Iwasaki Kawasori. Yes, I, I, I have a commissory, but I think the Iwasaki is kind of like the, the luxury version, you know what I mean? Um, I, I Honestly, I'd rather have that over, say, like a Black Lamb Vector, even though those Vectors are, oof, they are nice razors, and I would not say no to one. But I think for the money, I would have more enjoyment from the commissary. Right, because then I can learn how to hone it to my, what's the word I'm looking for, my, my preferences. Yeah, this is this is good this is good so if you guys have a chance to get some I, I would suggest getting some this is pretty good let's dry it up a little bit down here I obviously didn't put enough water in it come on come on come on yeah you can see it's thicker than I than I like but man it's, it's <laughs> I just thought of something it's almost like how canned goo comes out. It's 
Speaking of canned goo, I don't know when the last time I used that was. Oh, this is nice. There we go. All right, I'm gonna rinse off. Stand by. Trying to check the post shave. Not a whole lot of residual slickness. Yeah, not much. So I think it's gonna be a little drying. It'll be a little bit of a drying side, I think. Um, but that's why we have post shave, right? Balms and sea, uh, sebum. Yeah, I didn't, didn't dissipate too much while it's sitting in the brush. The second coat looks a little bit better. But yeah, I think I could have added more water. Sometimes you gotta make the noises. Oh yeah, 16 minutes, not too bad. If I didn't talk so much, maybe my videos would just be like five. <laughs> I don't need super close. I have a a couple of straight edges I need to test out when I get home. Oh yeah, I can feel it's a little bit drying, so I can feel a little bit of irritation right now. I think it's because of the drying nature of the of the soap. Over. Good right here. I felt I see a couple sprungs and leaks right there. No, hopefully not. Yeah. So after this, I'm just kind of wanted to rest a little bit, let the let it cool down. It's a little bit warm today. And then um, grab my camera. Head downtown with my coworker. Okay, yeah, this is where it's a little bit not slick enough. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, it's got no residual thickness. So, makes it a little hard to uh, get close in these areas here for me. But definitely good enough for government work, that's for sure. touch up this stash a little bit. But no residual thickness, so yeah, 
And that's what I don't like about the soap. Let's see. Yeah, I feel something right here. It got scraped. Weird. Oh yeah, you can see. I got it. It sucks when you get older, your whiskers get more coarse. Ugh. I was just talking to somebody about that today. And I can, I, I can feel it here. Super, super coarse. And then down in here. All right, that's good. All right, let me rinse. I got a mess here. Let me clean really quick here. Yeah, so I'm not gonna put the extra soap from the brush on my face. It's just too drying. I can feel it. Oh, got myself. See it? All right, so performance is just so-so. Maybe if I had it wetter, um, it would perform a little bit better. The experiment a little bit. Maybe it'll act differently with my water at home. We'll see, we'll see. All right, not too bad. Pretty good shave overall, so it's gonna take a little while for that to stop bleeding. I haven't, I, I, I have an alum stick, but I don't have a styptic, so we'll just have to use the the alum and just hopefully that will close it up all right that's my shave everybody i hope you all enjoyed that let me do a quick little recap zenith bore brush absolutely love this brush right there. i wish okay if the sterling brush was as dense as this the sterling would be my absolute favorite but man these two those two are neck and neck what soap did i use this is speak speak spike whatever Men's Active, I'm not gonna pronounce that word again, I'll butcher it. And my cheap old $20 Kamasori that I got from Amazon. Let me um, just put, let me put the blade in a safe, safe condition here. Just like that, all right. That's my shave. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Chime down below if you got any questions for me. Uh, oh, I, I posted a couple pictures in my community. I hope you guys were able to see that. I hope it works. Uh, it's the first time I've tried doing that, so I um, hope you guys enjoyed those. It's just from a little little uh, road trip that I made last weekend. Um, that's it. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Thanks for sticking with me this long. Again, have a fantastic weekend. God bless each and every one of you. And until next time, I'll be home in the U.S., don't text and drive. Bye-bye.